Hey everyone, good morning and thanks for joining us here on another episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. So today's video is going to be how to download the working title G3000 suite. Uh, for your aircraft. This particular video is for the people that want to go right on their GitHub uh, and download the G3000 suite directly from Working Title. Now, if you try to do that uh, the normal way I'm going to show you, it doesn't really provide you with the links necessary to download. Uh, they only give you source codes. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And for those people that have tried to download this already uh, from the GitHub, know what I'm talking about. So uh, the very first thing that you want to do, oh, and by the way, if this is your first time joining us on the channel today, I would love to welcome you and highly suggest you go down below, hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell and smash that thumbs up button. It really lets us know we're doing a good job and you don't want to miss any future videos like this one. But now that we got that out of the way. So uh, as you see on your screen here, uh, I'd go right to Google. Uh, you type in working title G3000 and the first link that comes up, I just click, click on that. So that'll take you to the uh, working title FS packages page. And if you go down here to the G3000 and you click on the current version, not the documents, but the current version right here. Uh, and by the way, uh, anybody that is using the G1000, there's a new update for that. And there's also a new update for the CJ4. Uh, but anyway, you click on the version 7.4, and this is all it gives you. So now what do you do? Well, I'm going to show you how to actually download the zip files that you need so that you can run the G3000 suite uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So uh, while you're here, just right up here on the Releases tab, click that with your left mouse button, and uh, well, you'll see all the current releases, and you'll see the uh, new CJ4. So if you don't have that, click on that, and you can download that here as well. Uh, here is also the G1000 new version. But if you keep going down, there's the GX. You'll see the G3000 version 7.4a. This is what you want to click on right here for the G3000 suite. You'll left click on that, and that will bring you to the downloads that you're going to want for using in Microsoft Flight Simulator. The working title G3000 Road Data Suite, if you would like that in addition to the G3000, and the working title G3000 zip file. So you would uh, install these to your community folder just as you would anything else. Unzip the files and then uh, switch those over to your community folder. Uh, now mind you, uh, when you do download this file, uh, we're going to do it real quick for you. For those of you that know how to do this already, well you can pretty much end the video uh, here. And thanks for watching. Um, for those of us that are sticking around, uh, here's how you would want to do it. You would click on that to open your file up in your uh, extractor. And right here uh, is the file. So you can take this file and move it right into your folder uh, that you would want, whether it be a community folder or a separate folder on your desktop. And that's it. So uh, in any case, uh, thanks everybody for watching today. Uh, if you haven't done so already, go down below, hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. As always, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one.